Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a video that is quite trendy. Actually, don't even know if it is still a trend anymore, but it was quite trendy in the past and I really, really wanted to jump on that bandwagon. It is DMing celebrities, YouTubers, influencers to shop for me. I'm going to be going onto Instagram, going to the people that I follow and just messaging a bunch of the influencers that I follow on here to shop for me. I'm not going to be giving them a specific place to shop. I'm not going to tell them they have to send me something from Amazon or from Target or wherever it may be. I'm just going to give them free range. So without further ado, kind of nervous for this. It's a little out of my comfort zone, but let's make a fool of myself. I'm going to start off with Allison Bickerstaff. I will put all the information for the people that I'm messaging right over here. And then if and when I get a bunch of responses back, I will buy the items and do a separate portion, separate segment of this video. So let's message Allison. Hey, beautiful. I am filming a video where I message and DM, DM influencers to shop for me. Are there any items you are loving currently that you think I should try? That makes it sound like I just want her to send me an item like via a link. I don't actually want her to send me an item. Like I'm gonna do all the purchasing. Hopefully that makes sense. And I'll just say thank you in advance that I should try. Okay, mm, sent the first one, this is so awkward. Oh my God, this is so awkward. All right, I'm gonna go through all of my lists. The next one is going to be Taylor Mobley. I'm sorry I'm not personalizing these. If you guys are watching, it's gonna pretty much be like a copy and paste situation, but hey, love, I'll say love. I am filming a video where I DM influencers to shop for me are there we are there oh my god i can't even type are there any items you are loving at the current moment and set <laughs> I, this is so scary <laughs> All right, next up, let's keep going through, going through, going through. All right, so I mean, I'm not gonna bore you with just like sitting here and listening to me talk to everybody. I'm gonna message a bunch of people more, and then when I come back to film the segment, if I get a bunch of responses, I will share all the people that I sent out the message to and how many of them responded to me, and then we'll see the items that I test out. I think I lost all sense of self-control. I just messaged one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 people, 20 people. So if every single one of them responds, I'm gonna have to buy 20 items, which is probably not in the budget for me. So I will go through all of them. Whoever responds, I will share their response and I will buy a bunch of the items, hoping that as many people respond as possible. But the ones that do respond, if I don't purchase their items because I'm out of money, I will put the item right over here to share with you what they suggested. Somebody take my phone away. I think I am up to 25 DMs at this point. I'm going to read through to you all the people that I message and then the next time that you see me, I will be unboxing and reviewing all the items that people hopefully suggested to me. And I do just wanna throw out there that two people already messaged me back and this is such a thrill. Like honestly, when I got that DM, I was like, this is such a rush right now. Erica and Chelsea, already messaged me back you guys you're the real MVP so I message Erica from coming up roses Chelsea Watson from styled by magic I message Colleen Ballinger not responding Savannah LeBrant also not gonna respond back Aspen Ovard also not going to respond back but hey there's hope. I messaged Abby Corkins, BBB Brooke. I messaged Ariana Pierce, Julie Denby. I messaged Kimberly, Kimberly Kong, Jessica Braun, Jessica Conti, Rachel Martino, Melena Ciciotti, Brittany from Five Foot One Teacher, Tracy and Stephanie from Eleventh Gorgeous, Oyer M, Disney Girl Beauty, Buy Trendy Pep, Buns and Bites, Taylor Mobley, Allison at Bickerstaff, and that's the last one. So. I'm gonna save the responses for the haul, but this is really a rush. Hello, 
Hi, welcome back. It has been just about three weeks since I reached out to all of the influencers and all the items have been shipped to my house. So I figured I would do a little mini haul right here, right now. This might actually be my absolute favorite haul that I'm going to film here on my channel. The items that these influencers suggested did not disappoint. There's such a variety of items from like makeup to fashion to Disney to candles to kitchen and everything in between. So if you guys like any of the items that I'm going to share in this video, I will link them in the description below. So just check that out if you want any for yourself. I do have a list of all the influencers here on my phone and the items that they suggested. So I'm just going to start from the top and go all the way down to the bottom. So now without further ado, let's start off with Allison Bickerstaff. Like I said, the very first person on my list is Allison Bickerstaff. She is hands down one of my favorite influencers in the game. She is just such a wholesome person. In my personal opinion, I look at her kind of like America's girl next door. She's just such a sweet soul to talk to and she recommended two items that might be two of my absolute favorite items that I own now. I will start with this one because fun fact, I reached out to her for two reasons. Reason number one, everything I just said, she's one of my favorite influencers. Reason number two, there is an item that she talks about all the time on her Instagram and in her YouTube videos that I really wanted but just never took the plunge to buy. She recommends it all the time and I was secretly hoping that she would recommend it to me and she did and I now own these gorgeous mugs. If you guys follow her, you probably already know about these mugs. They are these, I think it's called like thermic glass mugs. So basically it kind of gives an illusion. You pour your coffee in or your hot cocoa or your tea, whatever it may be. And it kind of looks like it is suspended. The rest of it is all glass. They are so beautiful. They're so like minimal, so simplistic. They are gorgeous and I was so excited it was like actually I think the top thing that she suggested to me I was like yes so now I own two of these beautiful mugs the goal is to get like the full set to get four of these to get four of the big ones the taller ones and everything in between and then the next item really just like spoke to my soul if you guys know me but at all you know that my favorite meal of the day is breakfast and you know that my breakfast item of choice is a nice crispy homemade waffle with maple syrup and she suggested this dash heart mini waffle maker is this not the cutest little waffle maker you have ever seen and it was only ten dollars ten dollars for this at target like are you stinking kidding me great great choices thank you allison for all that you do you have an absolutely beautiful name by the way if i just say so myself but yes she suggested really incredible things and these are the first two things that i will be sharing inside of this haul number two is from chelsea i believe her last name is watts she runs styled by magic i don't know if i mentioned this already but any of the influencers that i am talking about i will put their picture right over here and then i'll also link their instagram in the description below for you to check them out for yourselves i will link just their instagram because from their instagram you can find all of their other content platforms whether it is their youtube channel a blog page, a podcast, whatever it may be. Chelsea suggested this liquid lipstick from Maybelline New York. It is the Superstay Matte Ink Lipstick and I got the shade 112 Composer. This is the most perfect shade in my personal opinion. I love this really dark, deep, almost kind of like brownish meets purpley color. I did try this out the other day for the purpose of this video and this stuff stays put. It is like waterproof meets indestructible liquid lipstick. So let me share with you what the actual brush looks like and then I will do a very quick little swatch to show you exactly what it looks like. I really like the kind of like formatting of this brush if that makes any sense it's really really pretty so let me put this on quickly oh, I love that color it's also the perfect like fall meets winter type of shade I just I love it I love it so so much so thank you so much Chelsea for your craft and for your awesome recommendation next up is from 
my sweet, wonderful, amazing, kind, caring friend, Jill from Disney Girl Beauty. She is actually one of the first internet friends that I ever made, I wanna say five or six years ago I've been chatting with her for quite a long time and we are like real life friends now and I met her through Instagram so let that just be said I know a lot of people always say like can you actually make friends off the internet and Jill is actually one of my real life friends and I met her through Instagram and let me tell you Jill from Disney Girl Beauty did not disappoint. She recommended something that I believe she recommended for my almost two year old son but it's kind of also for mama like I'm going to obviously give it to Landon and let him use it but mama is really going to be using this item let me just share with you what it is it's so precious like are you even ready for this <gasps> I can't the cuteness overload right now this is called a cuddlies cuddle z's whatever it is called I will link it down below it is like a little pillow pet stuffed animal and it is so cozy and for the size of this I got this from Target it was pretty reasonable priced wise like just can you even he's snoozing so again this is for my son I want to use this while we are reading books we read books every single night and he will sit on my lap and we'll read through all of our books and I figured this will be just such a cozy way to make that even more fun it's one of my favorite pastimes with him is just reading all the books and cuddling up and who better to cuddle up with than just my son and Mickey Mouse like he's so I just I can't it is the softest thing in the universe thank you Jill thank you so much Erica from coming up roses is coming in hot with this next suggestion she recommended to me true fruit so I have never tried these before she recommended them to me basically it is nature's raspberries frozen fresh in white and dark chocolate she does recommend this a bunch on her Instagram I just never tried them personally until she recommended it to me and my bag is pretty much almost gone at this point these are a Addicting, like take all of my money true fruit these are so so good let me show you exactly what they look like they're just like these tiny little raspberries that were frozen fresh and then dipped inside of white chocolate and then dipped into dark chocolate so good mm -hmm. mm. so good Erica so good we're going to move on now to Taylor Mobley from Blonde and Ambitious a little side story for you guys I will try to keep this short and sweet but about three years ago I think it was like three years ago I went on my very first PR trip and it was to Disney World <laughs> it was a pivotal moment in my YouTube career my very first PR trip I was just like exploding inside with happiness that entire trip and on that trip a bunch of the influencers and bloggers and youtubers etc that were on that trip with me I was able to stay in contact with all of these years later one of them being Erica next one being Taylor those are the two that I keep the closest contact with since that trip they are just incredible human beings I also went on that trip with Alicia which I'll mention a little bit later in this video we were also on that trip with Jess Conti and Gabriel Conti who were just the sweetest people ever I did reach out to Jess but unfortunately she did not get back to me when I DM'd her to shop for me which totally fine totally 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 cool but she was on that trip with Gabriel Conti as well and they were just as sweet in person as they are in their videos so I just wanted to throw that out there because a bunch of the influencers in this video I actually met through that Disney PR trip which I am forever forever grateful for Taylor Mobley she knows what's up she suggested to me one of my absolute favorite things in the entire world which is a candle so she suggested this sweet water decor warm and cozy hand poured soy wax small batch candle this smells like Christmas in a container it smells so good the most perfect 
wintry candle and I love that it is all soy based. I love that I'm supporting a small shop by using this candle. I am just so beyond in love with it. So I will link this small shop in the description below. It was $20 money well spent. While we're on the topic of that Disney PR trip, I'm going to mention the next influencer, which is Alicia Tanise. I believe that is how you pronounce her last name. She suggested a puff sleeve sweater dress that you can find on Amazon. I am going to put a picture of it right over here. It will not ship out until the 30th, so I just wanted to share what the picture looks like of the item. I'm hoping that it is very flattering. I am five foot one, five two on a good day. Sometimes those longer dresses are kind of like frumpy on my body type but the dress itself looks beautiful i love the heather gray color and it is kind of one of those transition dresses i am a teacher so i could like wear that and dress it up while i am teaching and it is also something that i feel like i could wear down with like sneakers and make it more casual when i'm hanging out with friends or with my family so thank you alicia gorgeous dress can't wait to see it Okay, hear me out. The next influencer that I reached out to was by Trendy Pep. She's actually local to Rhode Island, just like myself, and she suggested a shacket. A shacket. Am I the only one who had no clue what a shacket was? I actually almost messaged her back being like, what in the world is a shacket? And then I looked it up and apparently it's a very trendy item. Hence, by Trendy Pep, she would know about that. It is a shirt, jacket, shacket. I, am, I, am I alone with this one? I'm so glad that she suggested it to me because they're so cute. She suggested like a brownish looking one. So this is the shacket that I got. I have an entire vision for how I want to style this. I just bought like fake leather pants and I'm kind of digging on them really, really hard. And I'm thinking I'm gonna wear like a white crop top with it because the fake leather pants are high-waisted and then wear this over and wear it with my black combat boots. I mean, it's a whole mood, but this is the shacket shirt jacket that I picked up. I got it from Shein and it shipped within two weeks. So here it is, very cute, very trendy. Can I pull it off is the question. Remember when I said that this was going to be a mini haul? Clearly I lied. I still have a couple of items left and the next one was recommended to me by BB Brooke, formerly known as Bibbidi Boppity Brooke. She suggested a final straw and I actually already had one of these. I purchased one of these a year and a half ago and I love it. Basically it is a straw that is reusable and it is travel friendly. So you just open this up and take your straw out, kind of puts itself together. I got the kind of like chromey looking, almost unicorn-y type of straw. And then inside of here, you also have your straw cleaner. So you just pull this out and you can clean your straw as you go. I love these. It's it's actually inside of my son's diaper bag. So wherever we go, I have a straw that is reusable. Next up from a fellow teacher internet friend. She has no clue who I am, I'm pretty sure, but she is a fellow educator. Her name is Brittany and she runs the Instagram page and YouTube channel called Five Foot One Teacher. I am so inspired by her daily and she suggested what might be one of the coolest items in the entire world, a freaking karaoke machine it's a karaoke microphone excuse me not a full-blown machine just the microphone the ultimate karaoke microphone this is so perfect for so many different reasons number one being in my classroom right now i am teaching in school we are full in school it is so hard to hear my students and it's so hard for my students to hear me over the mask it is a constant battle of can you repeat that can you say that again what did you say huh what did you say because the masks just muffle everything that we are saying so this is going to be so handy just to like give to my students and have them use this when they are sharing out also really so it's so 
beautiful like look at this this is a full-blown mood right now this is also going to be fun to just have fun with my students not just for like teaching purposes she says that she uses this with her students all the time and I can just see us at recess just like busting this out and doing karaoke for like a solid 20 minutes and then top of all of that I love karaoke look I'm so excited to use this not only in my classroom but in my real home life as well this is everything like Brittany yes thank you so so of course my camera would die at the most crucial part of this clip but for real <laughs> just there are no words that are needed for this no words at all okay let's move on to the last true recommendation that somebody physically recommended to me the last two that i have are honorable mentions and then i have my choice of what my favorite thing at the current moment is right now and i also have a giveaway so stay tuned for all of that but the final influencer that got back to me is laura from buns and bites also local to rhode island if you're unfamiliar with her she basically goes to all the restaurants in Rhode Island and she will showcase all the food in a very like beautiful way. Go to her page, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Her page is all about highlighting food and highlighting inclusivity, not exclusivity being very inclusive of all women and all their body types. I hope I said that correctly and did justice to it. So she suggested to shop at Stock PBD, which is a place in Providence. And I found this item that, yes, I've been wanting one of these for so long. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I love to bake. However, I don't have one of these little flour sifters and I found it at Stock PVD. If Stock PVD has a website, I will link it in the description, but they are a lo local, excuse me, small shop and I don't know if they ship out like nationally. However, I had a wonderful experience in that cute little small shop. So I just got myself a little sifter. This is going to be perfect to get all those clumps out when I'm using powdered sugar or flour or whatever it may be. And then Laura also very, very kindly sent me something from her small shop. She runs a little apparel business on the side and she sent me this super cozy little sweater i'm going to open it up it says allison we hope you adore this comfy and cozy sweater thank you for your support we can't wait to see your cuteness in it xoxo pinky it is called pinky swear like pinky swear and then they have their little emblem right there pinky swear i do know that they ship out nationally so if you guys are interested check their website out this is the best sweater of ever thank you so much to sending it for me look at this ah it's so cute it's like very very cozy comfy on the front and on the back we have that heathered gray almost like sweater like material on the back it is so cute let me put it on now to show you exactly what it looks like and i just want to be nice and comfy and cozy as well oh yeah it's like one of those teddy sweaters <gasps> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Ooh, it's very cozy. Oh, thank you so much, Pinky Swear. Like, this is really nice. And I love these sweaters that you can kind of wear so many different ways. You can pull this all the way down, wear it off of the shoulder. You can crop it up and put it underneath your bra. Loving, loving this for me right now. We have now made it two honorable mentions. The two honorable mentions that I have for this video is Milena Ciciotti and Rachel Martino. So no, they did not respond back to me. However, when I was shopping for all of these items and checking my Instagram to see whether or not the influencers were getting back to me or not, they both suggested something on their stories and I purchased them. So tech Technically, they didn't message me back, but they did kind of suggest something that I should shop for. So I wanted to include both of these next items in this video because they're just wonderful items. So from Milena Ciciotti, who is my top favorite influencer, she is the YouTube channel that I gravitate to the most. I watch all of her videos. I'm so super inspired by her. I feel like we're kind of the same person. I know that sounds a little stalkerish, but I just really enjoy her content and I enjoy like watching her life through a film and through a lens. I know that sounds stalkerishy. Promise you it is not. She suggested this 
little workout item. Now, she suggested this like months and months ago and I purchased this off of her link like five, six months ago. She just re-suggested it a couple of days ago and I repurchased it in a different color. I purchased it in black. I will put a picture of it over here, but it will not ship out until Monday and I'm filming today, which is a Sunday because I can't film during the week due to teaching. I wish the black one would come in, but I have shared this on my Instagram story a ton of times as well. It is just such a nice workout outfit. It comes with the little sports bra on top and then the very form fitting pants on the bottom. I actually use these to work out 25% of the time and 75% of the time I just wear these to lounge around in because they are so comfy and cozy and just really really cute. So now I have two pairs. I did repurchase them when she suggested them because they are so awesome. I love these so so much and my goal is to get like maybe another two pairs and I'll have like a set of four or maybe even a set of five. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see how crazy we're gonna get. This last item that I'm going to share with you before I share my pick of the video, definitely more of an impulse purchase. This is from Rachel Martino. Rach Martino, I believe is what her Instagram handle is. She suggested this super bougie sleep mist spray. A little backstory, I got in my FabFitFun, I believe fall box for 2020, this sleep mist spray and I thought it was so gimmicky and then I started using it and it is one of my favorite things I've ever received from FabFitFun before. You just spray it onto your pillow, has like a lavender calming scent to it and you just breathe it in and it kind of just puts you in like this calm state. I was the first one to say it was super, super gimmicky and then it really, really worked. I just felt so calm and then I went to sleep so nicely. So she suggested this bougie version, which is from Slip, A Sleep A Mist. This was from Anthropology. I ended up getting mine on Sephora because the one that she suggested on Anthropology was completely sold out and they said they didn't have like a new ship date in mind. So I found this on Sephora and I picked it up. It's so bougie. Like who even am I? The one from FabFitFun was in plastic. This one's like a full blown glass. It's beautiful. It's chamomile and lavender and it is a room mist. So I will definitely be taking advantage of this. I don't know if it is going to work as well. It smells just like the one from FabFitFun. I don't know if it's going to work as well as the one that I got from FabFitFun, but I will report back on my Instagram. It's just beautiful. And also it's kind of like a nice little staple piece to have on your end table. It's really beautiful looking. I loved the one from FabFitFun, but it wasn't a looker. This one is definitely a looker as well. Last but definitely not least, my pick for this video, I will keep it short and sweet because I feel like this video is already 30 to 40 minutes long. My pick is the Blend Jet 2. I am so excited for this product. I actually had the Blend Jet 1 and I loved it. If you guys are unfamiliar with a Blend Jet, it is a portable blender. They're very stylish, but they're also very effective. I loved my Blend Jet. However, it did start rusting, unfortunately, because the little area where you like plug it in, it ended up getting rusty and I got nervous using it. I loved it. I used it for months and months and then it rusted. I saw a video for the Blend Jet 2 and it said that this one is water resistant. I guess that must have happened to a lot of people and they kind of like took the feedback that people were talking about and really applied it to their new design. And the new design is completely water resistant. Of course, you shouldn't like dunk this into a pool or anything, but it is water resistant and it is bigger. And on the back, it has measurements. I'm obsessed with this thing. And I hope that you guys are excited for it as well because when I purchased it, they actually sent to me two of them and I don't need two of them. I only need one. So I figured I would do a little giveaway in this video to win one of the Blend Jet 2s. I just, I'm so 
excited for this I used to make such great smoothies shakes you can use this for salsa there is like a plethora of different ways that you can use this and I plan on checking off all of those boxes for all of the different ways that I can use this blend jet so if you guys would like to win one of these blend jets through this video all you have to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel like this video if you are interested you don't have to do that it is not a requirement but if you would like to like this video to boost engagement maybe it'll be like a little bonus point what you do have to do however is let me know in the comments if you have ever been influenced by an influencer before whether you did purchase something or you wanted to purchase something what was that thing that an influencer suggested that you really wanted to purchase or you actually did purchase I will be picking the winner from the comments below so make sure you don't skip out on that part and that is it for this video I love Love you guys to the moon and back i hope that you're having an amazing day i hope that you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed filming it this was this was a fun one for me if you would like to see more of these types of videos just let me know because this was a blast for me personally again i love you guys to the moon and i am so so grateful for all of your love and support here on my channel and i look forward to talking to you all soon bye guys